So everyone go ahead and mute your mics and we're gonna grab our handles. We're gonna go through our warm up. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart and let's squat, sit down. Drive through the heels of your feet to stand up. Sit down and stand up. squat, take that step in, handle her into your armpits, and now mid rows. Full extension of your arms all the way out, pull all the way back in. And now combine it, squat row, squat down, drive up and row. Let's get one more. Squat down, drive up, and row. Spin and turn. Facing away from your anchors, alternating leg forward, lunges, eyes wise, T's, right leg and the eyes. On your next one, wise. Taking those hands just a bit wider. And on the next one, tease. Really open up your chest. One more to each leg, right? And left, standing roll out. Offset your stance if you'd like, lean forward, let the handles go all the way up above your head, engage your core and pull back. Then you just won't get that to your rats. <laughs> let's, let's get one more. Rolling all the way out, engage your core, pull back, and then spin and turn, facing that anchor. You got golf rotations, feet are close together, slight bend in those knees, right arm driven up, then left. One more to each leg, right? And left. Stand up nice and tall, grab a quick drink of water, come on back. Just everyone do a double check on your mics to make sure that you're muted. And we'll work on this strong class. So we're gonna think about this first round as a big movement, a little movement and then no movement okay so i want you to take your straps and we're going to lengthen them all the way out and we're going to stand and face away from our anchors we're going to go into a close grip chest press so as we face away from our anchors we're going to turn our wrists to face each other and think about this like a push-up or where you allow your elbows to come and scrape against your ribs and then press straight away. So we're pushing straight out in front of us, okay? Take a nice, big, deep, challenging angle here. We're 
We're gonna go for a full range movement. Here we go, two, one, and going. Bending in, lower down, press straight arms out. Bend in, press straight arms out. Really challenging your stability here through your shoulders. your core, be nice and stable. You can always stay deep, but widen your stance out. Squeeze the glutes. We've got a few seconds here, and we're gonna lower down and hold for two, one, down and hold. So the elbows are still close and tucked in by your ribs, but then you want to lean so far forward that the handles are actually into your armpits. You're really locking in with that nice flat board position here. Got this hold for a few more seconds. And then we're going to go into the small movement and the small movement is going to be a partial push away and then a drop right back in. And here we go. Two, one, push halfway out. Right back down, halfway out, right back down. Think about pushing so that your elbows become in line with the front of your ribs and lower right back down, elbows in line with those ribs. Right back down. Keep it going, keep it going. You're almost there. And two, one, press all the way away. Nice job, you guys. Take a second, shake out your arms. And we're gonna take our handles and we're gonna put them underneath our armpits. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. We're going to go into a front squat. So we're going to lower down and then drive and stand to come right up. So full range front squat all the way down, all the way up. Make sure that you extend through your toes. And here we go. Two, one, going down, drive it up. Do a nice check-in, making sure that you're lowering straight down and that you're coming right up and that you're not doing a knee dive where you're just throwing those knees forward. We're actually lowering our butt down, coming right back up. Knees are tracking in line with your hips. down and hold so stay leaning into your armpits make sure that you push your knees towards the ground your hips follow so that you're not arching through your lower back you just got to fight through the fire that's going to start happening in your muscles Eye gaze looking out in front of you, keeping that airway open, heads are up, chests are up. Almost there, almost there. We're going to go into a nice pulse. Stay strong with this. And pulse. Small movement up. Small movement down, not a speedy pulse. We want to be controlled, slow, driving up, bringing it right back down. Feel that fire, come on. Fight it out, fight it out. A little mental fight here, come on. Stay strong with this. 
You're almost there, you guys. You're almost there. Come on, dig, dig, dig. Two, one. Stand all the way up. Nice job. Shake your legs out. As you're shaking your legs out, take your straps to mid length. The yellow tabs are going to cover up your diagonal lines. Straps at mid length, we're going to turn and we're going to face our anchor. Palms are going to be down towards the ground. We're going to lean back and you're going to lift up into a nice Y. So our full range all the way up, all the way down. We're going to hold at the top and then our pulse is going to come halfway down and then drive right back up. Okay. All right, guys, setting that angle. Squeeze your glutes, chase your plank, two, one, full range. All the way up, all the way down. Make sure that your palms are towards the ground. Lift up and then go wide. Reset your shoulders, making sure that you're puffing your chest up and that you're locking in. Do not arch through your lower back. Stay tight. Chase your planks, everyone. Up and hold. Keep your body weight leaning backwards. Your arms are the only things that are keeping you from falling back. Squeeze the glutes. Check in with those hips again. As you start to fatigue, your hips are gonna start to go forward to compensate. Stay nice and flat. Keep the hands up, keep the hands up. And now pulse, quarter down, drive it right back up. Again, slow and controlled, squeezing those shoulder blades together, keeping your core tight. Arms staying straight. Almost there, everyone, almost there. Take a second, shake out your neck, shake out your shoulders. Take your, we're gonna keep our handles at mid length, but I wanna take your right leg and cross it behind your left leg. So we're going into a cross lunge. You're gonna use your handles to help lower you down. We're gonna lower straight down towards the ground. When your knee, when you're down towards the ground, you want your knee to be close to the ankle of your foot that's in front, okay? So we've got this nice cross position here. We're gonna drive down and up. We'll go down and hold, and then small pulses, okay? All right, everyone, here we go. Two, one, and going. Full range down, drive right back up. Down, right back up. Your front outer glute is the one that should be working the most in this. You should be driving and squeezing through that glute as you stand up. Down and hold. Letting that knee hover off the ground. Eye gaze is up. Airway looking up. Holding with your front leg. Pulse. 
Again, slow, controlled pulse. Not looking for speed here. Looking to drill lower down and drive up with control. Fight through that fire, fight through the burning. Check in, make sure those shoulders are back, that your chest is up, that your core is tight. Almost there, everyone, almost there. Two, one, stand up, shake that leg out. Nice job. Give a quick shake and let's switch sides. Centering your other foot to the anchor, foot crosses behind, and here we go. Two, one, and going. Lowering down and up. Again, making sure that you're feeling this primarily in the outer glute of your front leg. Chasing that solid plank. Almost there. Two, one, nice. Stand up and shake the legs out. Take your strap to your mid calf, mid shin. Rubber handles right below your kneecap. We're getting set up for toes in, face down. We're gonna find a nice strong plank position in the toes in, face down. Our big movement is gonna be full range crunches where we pull our knees straight into the center of our chest. Hold, we'll be holding our knees uh, right underneath our hips, and then the pulse will be straightening the legs out slightly and then coming right back in. Take breaks as you need to. You should not feel this in your lower back. And here we go. Two, one, and going. Full range, all the way in and out. Make sure your toes are pointed down towards the ground. Don't let your knees pin together. In and hold. Eye gaze looking out in front of you. Take breaks as you need, and then just get right back in.
almost there, guys. Almost there. Getting ready for it. And now pulse. Legs go slightly out. Bring them right back in. Contracting through that core. If you feel it in your lower back, take a break. Stay strong, you got this, you guys, you're doing great. Two, one, kick your toes out of there, grab a quick drink of water. One round, done. Nice job. Okay, so once you grab some water, we're gonna keep our straps at mid calf, mid shin. You're gonna grab one of your handles. Just need one of the handles here. Um, the one handle, we're gonna be sitting and facing away from your anchor. Come on, guys, let's figure out what's going on here. Oh. Uh, you're going to be sitting and facing away from your anchor. One heel is going to go into that foot cradle. I want you to scoot your body forward so that your heel is in line with your hip. So I've got this leg sort of fully extended up into the air. I'm gonna bring my other foot up to mirror it, and then I'm gonna lift my hips up into the air. And we're gonna go for a just straight burn on this side, pulling your knee to your chest, and then pushing straight away, okay? Thanks, Gia. Just one foot. All right, so you have your heel in, scoot yourself forward so that your heel is right above your hip. Your other foot is up in the air. <clears throat> Hands are at your sides. Lift up. And just your TRX leg, in and out. Take breaks as you need to, but keep those hips up. Keep that knee driving in. <laughs> you, can't you can't cross your foot over and keep it there. You gotta take it off. <laughs> What's the modification? <laughs> Put your hips down, take a break. Oh. Keep going guys, keep going. Take breaks as you need. We're almost there. Two, one, nice. Back of your legs should be on fire. Take a second, shake that leg out. Put your other heel in. Bring your other foot up. And in two, one, lift up and going.
die große Lampe. Press into that foot cradle. You got this, you got this. Take those breaks as you need. Almost there, almost there. Ouch. Two and one. Kick your feet out of those straps. Nice job, you guys. Come on up and lengthen your straps all the way out. it palms up okay bend at your elbows the handles come to your eyeballs press straight away I want you to take a step back as deep as you can get two triceps in it deep then step forward to medium deep get to it medium deep and then step forward get to it shallow and then just keep repeating that process so to it medium to it deep to it medium and to it shallow okay all right, here we go. Two, one, step back for deep and going. Step forward for medium. Does not have to be a big step. And then step forward for shallow. To it shallow. And then you're right back at deep. Squeeze your glutes, flat board, leaning forward, flat board, pushing away. Elbows are up in line with your shoulders and palms are up, really doing this nice Reverse grip, tricep press. Shoulders are back, chests are up. Take breaks as you need to. Get right back in. Nice flat boards, push those hips forward. Almost there guys, almost there. Keep it going, keep it going. Two and one, nice. Take a second, shake out those arms. We're going to take our straps and go to mid length. The yellow tabs are covering up your diagonal lines. And you're going to grab your handles and walk backwards, face the anchor. We're going to take a nice wide stance here. And then we're gonna shift our weight one side to the other. So I'm gonna bend my knee, keep my hips low, 
and then shift one side, shift right into the other, okay? Non-stop, just pushing that weight across your body. Here we go, two, one, and going. Lowering down to one side, and then just shifting that weight. Don't let your hips come up. We're just pushing across your body. Nice, good. Stay nice and low. Chests are up, shoulders are back. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Two and one. Nice. Okay. Last one in this round. Mid calf, mid shin on your TRX. Toes are going to go in, we're going to go face down, finding a nice strong plank position, we're going to go into mountain climbers. One knee pulls into your chest and the other knee into your chest. Think about nailing the mountain climber, pulling one leg in and holding, straightening that leg out, pull your other leg in and then hold. Maybe like a one-two count as you hold that knee in. Nail your plank, take breaks as you need to. And two, one, going. Make sure your toes are pointed down towards the ground. Almost there, almost there. Two, one, knees down, toes out, grab a quick drink of water. Okay, we are gonna stay in the mid calf, mid shin position. We're gonna go heels in. We're gonna do abdominal.
abduction. So we're going to take our legs apart, together, apart, together, okay? We're going to get 10 abductions. We're going to hold for a 10 count. We're going to bring them back together. Nine abductions. Hold for a nine count. Eight, eight. Working our way all the way down, okay? Equal pressure in your foot cradles. Keep your hips up for as long as you can. And here we go. Two, one, and drive apart. Ten. Six. Three, two, one, hold. Two, one, nine, six, three, two, hold, nine. Two, one, eight, six, three, two, one, hold, eight, two, one, seven, Two, one, hold, seven. Two, one, six, five. Two, one, hold, six. Two, one, five. Hold, five, four, and four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, all three, two, one, together, two, one, hold, two, one, together, apart, and hold, and together. Ah, nice job, hips down, heels out. Grabbing your handles, we're going to walk backwards. You're going to find a nice, solid plank position. Mid rows, handles are into your armpits, just like we do the warm up. We're going to same idea here 10 moving mid rows, 10 hold, 9, working our way all the way back down. All right, so lock in, chase that nice, strong plank. Arms are fully extended, and here we go 10. Five, two, one, hold. Three, two, one, nine. Two, one, hold, nine. Focus.
focus on your hips. Three, two, one, eight. your foot touch nine try and keep that leg straight two one eight two one hold Two, one, seven. Two, 
one, hold. to the ground. We're going to finish this off with 10 heel taps to each side and then we're going to hold a V-sit for a 10 count. Then we're going to go right back down for 10 heel taps. 
Your V-sit can always be a bent, bent knee V-sit. That way it's easier to go down for the heel taps, okay? All right, so knees bend, and here we go. 10 to each side, 10, 10. Three, three, one, one, up, ten. Three, two, one, nine. Two, one, up, nine. Two, one, eight. One, one, eight. Two, one, seven. Two, two, one, one, seven. Two, one, six. One, one, six. One, Five. One, one, five. Three, two, one, four. Two, two, one, one, up. Four. Two, one, three, three, two, two, one, one, up. Three, two, one, two, two, one, one, two, one, 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 and you guys are done, done, and done. Nice job, you guys. Grab some water. Come on back. We'll stretch, cool down, send you on your way for Thursday. Student hasn't. Katina's done the most classes. Katina huh? hasn't worked with more stuff participation in classes. Oh yeah. Mid length on your straps. The yellow tabs are covering up your diagonal lines. You're gonna grab the handles. Begin to work yourself backwards. Let your head drop down toward he, he, bleh, hips drop down towards the ground. Head falls in between your arms. Freedom of movement here. Bending one knee, switching from one side to the other. Getting a little deeper stretch in on each side. Finishing your last bent leg, really ground through your legs. Look back behind you. Come all the way back up to center. Hinge through your hips and freedom of movement here. Bend one knee, switching from one side to the other. Getting a little deeper stretch in on each side. Finishing your last bent leg, straighten both legs out, press through your handles, come on up. Spin and turn. Right leg steps forward, left leg steps behind and through to the right side. Reach across your body. Then switch. Left leg out in front. Right leg steps through and behind. Reach across towards your left side. Bring those handles back to center. Lean forward. Let a nice stretch come across your chest. 
and lean back, step back, and walk back. Let those handles fall underneath the anchor. You guys are all done.